pretty good company. I'd say so. Good footsteps to follow. But it does put the tying run on base as Corel Prime takes a change up outside. Prime, two strikeouts today, one swinging, one looking. Six Ks this evening for Ryan Barucki. With a 1-0 lead in the sixth, he delivers a 1-0 and gets a fastball past Prime at 92 miles an hour. Yeah, I don't get to update my all-time Fisher Cat highs and lows very often. The big night change a number on it here. Our team historian, <laughs> Bob Lippman. Now the 1-1. Outside, ball two. What might be the most unlikely number for me to change here? I think. Yeah, what record's uh, never going to get broken? Jamie Vermilier, 41 consecutive batters retired. Wow. This pitch is fouled back two and two. That included a seven-inning perfect game. Jesse Carlson, a reliever in 05, 28 consecutive scoreless appearances. That's pretty good. 28 consecutive scoreless. And then how many retired? 44 retired 41 in a row. In a row wow. Retired. Most consecutive scoreless innings, Gustavo Chassin, 34 and a third. Two, two pitches fouled back. Price Most consecutive w wins, Gustavo Chassin, 13. Those are pretty good numbers. I'd say three hit batters in one game is still pretty <laughs> unlikely, but here we are. Especially for a guy who's throwing a one-hit shutout through five and two-thirds. Baraki comes set with a man on first and two down. It'll be a 2-2. Foul ball. Pulled the string on a changeup, and Prime just got a piece. Most consecutive games on Bay Street, 42 Dalton Pompey. It's actually current. His last 42 games as a Fisher Cat, he's reached safely. I thought Anthony Alford might have a pretty good shot at that. He might have had the best start ever in terms of on-base percentage as a Fisher Cat. Well, what is his on-base streak now? It's pretty good. 2-2 two -two pitch, swing and a miss, 93-mile-an-hour fastball. We'll dig into the archives for that one when we come back. It's 1-0 Fisher Cat through 5.5 on the